Hi friends, it's Julia. Welcome to 31 Days of Scrapbooking in December where I make a scrapbook layout each day throughout the month and they are all Christmas themed. Um, today is my first 12 by 12. I hope I can get this done in a timely manner. Uh, this is day number 13, so we're moving right along. And this sketch is an Allison Davis sketch. Um, and you can see it uses a lot of photos across the center. It also has a... Um, title block here where you have some additional photos. Now, will I have all those photos? Mm, I don't think so. I have a lot of photos, don't get me wrong. That calls for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have one, two, three, four, five photos. So we'll see. Maybe I can use some of these pocket page cards in lieu of photos. And you can see I've pulled tons of snowflakes and washi tape, um, all sorts of embellishments here. Um, they're just all stacked up on that wax paper uh, and more have fallen off. I've, as I have sorted through other um, supplies or supplies for other layouts, anything that was snowflake related, I put to the side to use here um, because these photos are of my granddaughter in her little Elsa dress. Do you remember when Frozen... Uh, first came out my older granddaughter was totally into it. Well, the younger granddaughter came along and so was she um, She was all about it and this little dress would light up and sparkle And so she was all about that and it would sing if you push the little medallion in the center here It would start singing let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, or whatever the song was <laughs> So I pulled out these six by eight pieces of paper. There are six of them all told. And then I have a couple of sheets of white cardstock that I pulled in from my stash to create this layout. I know these are cream and I might, as I start to lay things out, I might go back and get some cream, but I might just leave it alone and leave white. I'll make that decision as I go. But I think I have enough here to create these pages. So give me a few minutes. I'm gonna show you a close up of the sketch. If you want to pause the video, use that sketch to create your own layout and then come back and see what I have created along with, um, that would be totally fun. Or if you want to watch the video to completion and then create your own thing, I would, if you post it somewhere, I would love to see the layout that you create. Um, I will have close-ups at the end, so make sure um, stay tuned till the end. The video itself will be less than 10 minutes. I'm trying to keep them all less than 10 minutes um, throughout the month so that you can go on and watch all the other things that everybody's posting. Uh, there's a lot of people doing daily, December dailies, as well as um, Vlogmas and those kind of things for the planner people in the world and the booktubers in the world. There, Yeah, a lot of people are doing daily stuff. So I, I want to keep this video pretty short. All of my videos pretty short through this month. Anyway, guys, I will see you in just a minute when I come back to show you what I create. Okay, friends, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, it really didn't take that long. Um, I cut these cut apart apart, but I didn't end up using them. So they'll go back in my stash. Um, I kept this from a scrap of paper that I added in so that I can cut that band of pattern off there. Um, and this is the um, scrap that I added in. It was from a different layout that I used on this side, but that was the back and I wanted to pull in that blue. These are the embellishments that I have left. I have quite a few left, but I used a ton. Uh, all the washi tape samples, and I really only used two of them, but I love how it turned out. I did add some sequins. Um, and I think that's it for anything that I didn't already have pulled. Remind you of the sketch with the photos across here, the band of photos there. And I did something a little bit different. Let me stretch those out. I did change out the background cardstock to cream as opposed to white. Let me move that just a little bit. Let me pull it a little bit this way. Anywho, um, so I cut the paper Oh, and I have these pattern papers left over. Um, not too many, um, but they'll go back into my stash. I'll use them on another project somehow or another. Anywho, so I cut two inch strips and put along the back of both 
pieces. And then because the inspiration showed that it had a border around the photos um, all the way around, I thought, well, that's where I'll use my washi tape. And I was going to go around the outer edge too, but then I changed my mind. So I have um, the two inch strips going here. I have the photos down the center and then I have washi tape. I have the striped at the bottom there and then I have the solid around the top and the sides and you can see our very own Princess Elsa is our title um, and it's out of that glitter um, alphabet and then I have a cluster here um, as well as some um, different snowflake pieces. I have acetate and paper snowflakes around each cluster as well as sequins as well as some of that silver thread that I had previously pulled out to use on a different layout. So I have leftover stickers, I have embellishment pieces, I have ephemera pieces, um, yeah, I have tons and tons of stuff on this layout. I think that may have been one. I, that may not have been in a ephemera pack. That may have been one that I had fussy cut for another project. I used a couple of bits and pieces here. Um, added some sequins there. Um, and I had a sn primary snowflakes and um, words and um, what do you call them? Snow globe snow globe jar <laughs> in each cluster. So I have one, two, three primary clusters, and then I have mini clusters throughout um, the layout. So anyway, I love how this one turned out. You guys know if you've watched my channel for any length of time, I do love two page layouts. And so I try, especially at Christmas time, uh, to do a lot of two page layouts or when we have lots of family gatherings, I like those two page layouts um, to tell the story. And really and truly this little dress, I told you a little bit already, um, and that was my mom's face uh, as she walked out. She was just playing it up really well for her to be a little princess. Um, yeah, so one of the family members took that photo while the other took this as she was walking through. And look at that little place, uh, that little face when my mom made such a big deal over that little dress and her being a little princess Elsa. Anywho, so yeah, love this. Oh, and I forgot to put the date. There we go. I'm calling this one done. Uh, I will have close-ups at the end, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, and if you uh, come back every day the rest of this month, throughout the month of December, I will have a layout every day. And my videos, I'm trying to keep less than 10 minutes, so it won't take up very much of your time. Uh, if you would flip me a thumbs up, I would love that. Not necessary, not mandatory, but it always lets me know that um, you are inspired by the layout. The other thing is, if you guys are interested in seeing more Christmas layouts, please go over to my YouTube channel and look up playlists. Every December I do a lot, or January, either December or January, sometimes a combination of two. I do lots and lots of Christmas layouts, so you will find lots of inspiration over there. I will have a playlist of all the videos that I'm doing this month as well um, on my uh, channel. It is called Christmas 2020. So feel free, head over there and have a look, see if you missed any of the layouts. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.